evening. We're here in the beautiful long room of Trinity College as part of Probe. There's open researchers night all across uh, Europe. This is a wonderful event bringing research to the public and hopefully they'll get a flavour for what goes on in the university. The research is really about whether or not interpreters leverage gesture. We want to have insights into the perspective that speakers give when they're using gesture. It's really important if you're in a police station as an interpreter because what you say someone says is what becomes the evidence that's brought to court. Message banking is about recording messages that you can, in your own voice that you can use at a later stage. And this is an approach that speech and language therapists might use with people with motor neuron disease. So it's really important for us that we have an idea of Irish phrases. So our project is about the uh, improvement of uh, standard tests for helmets. So we have real data from uh, real accident and uh, using some software we can uh, reconstruct the accident. I'm interested in trying to understand what intimacy is today by you know, asking people what it is and how do we experience it. It's science or art better to understand human connection and what is, you know, how can science understand human connection differently. Sometimes the media pushes a certain agenda so you know these kind of uh, environments create a really good open environment to um, discuss different issues. So we were delighted that our research was one of the projects highlighted in the Probe Research Uncovered event in Trinity. It's brilliant to see research of all sorts, science, arts, law, all sorts of research coming together. We had three wonderful litigants, David Norris, Lydia Foy and Maureen de Berka, all of whom have brought groundbreaking cases on women's rights, transgender rights and gay rights. So it was a very stimulating event. The amount of value and insight I gained from other people's lives just from a simple one hour meeting was extraordinary. We had amazing feedback all during the event. Um, we've got to speak to lots of women in research who are doing PhDs or who work with academics and also from female undergraduates who were really, really excited about the idea. Like I'm not a student anymore, so besides coming this kind of events, I would never have an access to this kind of information. So I think Probe is like, what it's doing is a really great thing and hopefully more things like this will pop up in the future.